My mom was born in 1946. She was actually born in St. Louis, and shortly thereafter, her mother moved back to Chicago. In 1956, they arrived in Gary and were some of the first residents on what's now known as Martin Luther King Drive. Uh, it was originally Indiana Street, and at that time, there were probably 10 houses on the street, and uh, there were a family of, I think, there were 11 of her siblings were born at that point. The last one, number 12, was born about 10 months before me in 1963. To take it a step further back, it was my great-grandmother who first decided to move to Gary, uh, largely because of the economic opportunities that existed, but they also wanted to provide a more rural atmosphere, if you will, for those 12 children. And so my great-grandmother, uh, being uh, slightly industrious, came to Gary and found a location on Indiana Street. And my grandmother had recently remarried. And uh, as the story goes, my great-grandmother purchased the home and she shortly thereafter transferred it into my grandparents name. And so if you can imagine 11 children, a great grandmother, a mother and a father all living in a uh, one story flat that only had three bedrooms. I believe it was probably a little bit more than 700 square feet, but uh, they managed to make it and, and raise all of the children right there in that home. My biological father's name was Lloyd Williams. And as the story goes, my mother met him on a trip to visit her grandmother, the same great grandmother who came over to buy the house in Chicago or in Indiana, once she purchased the home and turned it over to my grandparents, she migrated back to Chicago and my mother would visit her on the weekends. And that's where she met my biological dad. She was a young girl going back to visit her grandmother and my biological father worked somewhere off of Roosevelt Street and the two met and shortly thereafter established a relationship and uh, I was born out of wedlock. I was born in the original portion of Methodist Hospital and my mother was a, a teenage mom. She was 18 and at that point she brought me home and uh, if her stories are accurate she actually made a, uh, a, a bassinet of type out of a uh, drawer for me and so yeah. 1969 my mother uh, married my father whose last name was Prince. And uh, for all practical purposes, I considered him to be my dad. He was the only dad that I really knew and had an interaction with. He enlisted in the Marine Corps and went off to Vietnam. And uh, it was shortly thereafter, after he returned, that the two reunited and they were married very shortly thereafter. And that's when my name was officially changed. And so back to the name Jerome Abner Prince. The Abner is a significant portion because that was my great grandfather's name and I also had an uncle named, on my mother's side that is, had an uncle named Abner. I never liked the name, right? And so if you can imagine 1969, there's uh, the remnants of Little Abner, if you will, and I don't know if you know a bunch about that, but Little Abner was a cartoon character or a comic strip character. In addition to that, there was the only other Abner I knew, which was uh, the Abner from the television show Bewitched. And, and I was teased about the name. It just, I mean, they called me everything but Abner. And I very specifically remembering to ask my mother to change my name before I enrolled in school. And so uh, she acquiesced and she basically inverted my name. I was born Abner Jerome Marshall which was my mother's maiden name. And uh, shortly thereafter, she inverted the first and the middle name, so I became Jerome Abner Prince. And um, that's who I am today.